Good afternoon, my name is Jeff. I'm a Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 5828 Southwest Huddleston Street here in Portland, Oregon. We're located at the rear of the home, just off to the left of the rear crawl space entrance. There's a 3 inch ABS cleanout in the vent well. This will be the point of access. I'm going to insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Currently have water running. Here we go. We've got a, a couple places in the line where we've got some, some standing water. We'll see how they drain out. This here is, I'm not really sure what we've got going on here. Okay, I believe that the uh, line is supposed to be configured this way. This opening here is a circular opening. It's not a, a, a separated joint or anything like that. I would recommend submitting this to the city to make sure that they are okay with the way this is configured. I am not familiar uh, with this type of configuration. Marie. It looks like we've got water possibly coming from the other direction while this one is going the direction we're going now, and then they both dump into this opening here. That's kind of what it looks like. I've just never seen that before. Um, so I would recommend submitting this to the city to see if they are concerned about that at all. We're uh, going to let the line drain out here for a few minutes. I'm not going to be able to advance past this. This does look like the terminus for the line. As uh, down below there, it looks like a uh, easement or main lateral connection.
And here at 45 feet, there is a, a bunch of standing water. I'm going to mark this for repair, and I'm going to try and find out where it's at. Unfortunately, my monitor's battery is getting low. I may have to change batteries. We might have two different uh, videos. Okay, I did locate here. I'm just doing a single marking. As it looks like the pipe's pretty vertical looking right now, and I believe where the standing water's at is probably at a 90 degree turn in the pipe. And it has lost grade, which is why we have all the standing water here. So the uh, standing water here starts at 45 feet. And it extends out here. And there's, a, there's quite a lot of stuff in there. It's pretty, I feel a lot of resistance when I push on the camera. But it goes from 45 feet to 49 feet. And I have marked it. It's on the, it's at the rear left corner of the property, about 20 feet away from the house, kind of in an old garden area. It marked with a green X at five feet deep. I'm going to try and locate here, see if I can get another uh, locate. It's probably going to be right on top of the other one. And I wanted to reiterate, the uh, repair is at the left rear corner. And I just located here at 49 feet, and the locator is is right on top of the other marking I did, which is kind of what I thought. The pipe looks like it's running vertically at 45 feet, and it likely hits a 90 degree turn that's lost grade, which is why the uh, pipe in that four foot section is full of water. I do recommend a repair there uh, to correct the grade. Oh, I want to say again, as I located here at 49 feet, the depth changed from five feet to eight feet. So it's pretty much going straight, about straight down that last few feet there before uh, the, which I believe is the terminus just beyond at 55, or sorry, at 50 feet. I'm going to go ahead and uh, keep reeling back. I do think it would be a great idea to do a repair there as everything coming down, you can see, just hits a wall of water. And it's about four feet long, so it's a lot of water resistance uh, for the debris and everything to, to try and get through. And you could... Uh, quite easily end up with a blockage and back up there. And you can see all the debris that's built that's stuck to the top of the pipe. That generally only happens when the line is having a hard time draining out and the line fills up completely and deposits stuff on the top of the pipe. Otherwise the water uh, doesn't really ever get up to there. Uh, it takes uh, slow moving water to deposit that kind of stuff on top. Toilet flushes won't do that. We're back here uh, just uh, about to pull the camera out. There is a small belly here in the backyard, just right away from the clean out. And uh, we've got, at the deepest point here, there's about an, it never uh, exceeds a half of an inch. The camera lens itself sits a half inch off the bottom of the pipe. I don't see any uh, major debris buildup right here in this spot, so I'm not going to fill that section. Uh, but when you ever, whenever you have a little bit of standing water like that, you just want to be careful what you put down the line. And this belly here goes from six feet, or I'm sorry, six inches out to two feet. It's about a foot and a half section, not too bad. I'm not going to fill that, but I do recommend a repair on the other uh, spot in the line for sure.